Physical therapy versus fitness training. Is there a difference? Watch this. All right. Next caller is Nick from Georgia. Nick, you're a real Rocky fan, aren't you? I noticed the shirt there. Oh, man. Oh, Love, it. Bro, Love it. Love it. Trying to try score points with Sal. <laughs> Most people don't know. That's uh, that's that's Mickey's gym right there. Mighty Mix right there on his yeah. shirt, right? Gee, I wore this hoping you would you would know exactly what this is. Nobody ever gets it. They think I box and I, I'd get my butt kicked real quick. So <laughs> Yeah, I see. Real Rocky fans though. So cool. All right. So how can we help you, man? Yeah. So um, first, I just want to say thank you guys. Um, one for myself. Um, when I first started listening to you guys, um, I was a real kind of meathead, thought I was really advanced, um, thought I was an advanced lifter and realized real quick, you guys kind of humbled me and showed me that I'm only I'm only advanced in one area and not multiple forms of training. Um, and then I went through map symmetry and it really helped correct some uh, chronic lower back pain I had that I had surgery from. Um, and then for my wife, um, she was a class lady. She was all about the cardio. And, uh, I tried telling her every, I literally said verbatim, everything you guys said on the show, nothing clicked. And then I bought your book and I read it with her. And for some reason, when she heard it from Sal, she just, <laughs> man, she's been hooked ever since. So, um, I have a few other things I want to get past her. If you could just write a book about it, I <laughs> really appreciate it, man. Um, so yeah. she's hooked, but cool. yeah. So, um, just a little background. So 25 years old, I'll be 26. Um, later this month, I was a uh, former military, um, injured my back pretty bad, needed to get surgery, um, started doing a lot of physical therapy and that inspired me to go to college to become a physical therapist. And I'm currently in my undergrad part of that, which is rehabilitation sciences. Um, and I also uh, became a certified personal trainer and nutrition coach. I've been training for about two years now. Um, and I just really have fa fallen in love with it. Like, I just, I wish I was training people more, but realize that I can only put so much time and energy into school and training people. So right now I have about four clients in person. I'm not doing um, any online training right now, uh, but yeah, I just really, I really, um, you know, I was, I was inspired before I met you guys, but you guys just kind of re revitalized that vision for me um, and how to do it the right way with integrity. Um, and I kind of want to build something similar, but unique and authentic to, to my, to my vision. Um, I just don't know where to go, man. I just, uh, you know, I feel like, I feel like I can only do so much right now and I don't know how much to invest in my personal growth as a trainer. Cause I know I have a long way to go. Um, and also just the business side of it. So I just didn't know if you guys had any tips or what you would do if you were my age, um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, just a real quick answer. NCI is going to be a great, I mean, for all the stuff you're looking for, uh, they're the best, uh, when it comes to teaching people how to build a business, especially, uh, we, we've, we've never run into anybody who's done as good of a job in terms of their system of teaching people how to build a business. You could always get a mentor, which I would say is the best thing you could do where you work with someone in person and you follow them around and you, you know, you, you work for them for free, just kind of learn how they build their business. But uh, NCI's put it all together, and we've seen firsthand uh, them build, uh, help people build pretty successful businesses. So you're gonna like what we have coming down the pipe too. So we've got mm -hmm. some cool stuff specifically for coaches and trainers that we're working on. We have been working on for uh, quite some time. Um, so, something more specific that I, if I'm if I'm you in the exact situation you're in, something I'm doing right now is trying to build a social presence. Right? So on Instagram or Twitter, whatever face, whatever platform you use. Um, I, I'm going to start to try and build a community there. Now, what does that look like? The mistake I think most people do is they look around uh, at other platforms or other famous uh, influencers and they try and model or mimic exactly what they're doing or they try and make a viral video. And it's like, that's not what I would do at all. Since you're already going through all the schooling and the education around physical therapy and you're mm -hmm. a certified personal trainer, you have this knowledge. Every day, the way the way I would steer my content is every day I learn something from school that becomes a post. Mm -hmm. So you 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 learn to to work on something correct. Like you just learn on some you know, corrective work for you know knee issue, a specific one. And then you could make a post specifically to that piece of content, and that that's what would drive my content. Now your goal is to give this free this all this great information you're paying for. You're working your ass off to learn into this like bite-sized Instagram versions of that for a community of people to share and enjoy themselves. 
And so, and this is only going to feed your potential future business, whether that's in physical mm -hmm. therapy or as a personal trainer, or if you want to build a big brand like Mind Pump, start using that. You can also use all of our content. This is a mistake that coaches and trainers always make. They always are like, oh, I want to build my own thing. And so they, they, they don't utilize all the free shit that we have. And there's this fear of, oh my God, if I share these Mind Pump guys all the time, they're never going to want to buy coaching from me or they're not going to be in my business. They're just going to go to their business. That's such a scarcity mindset and small way to look at things. Look at it this way. We've done all the work. We spent all the fucking money building all these free assets out for you to utilize for your community. So if, you, if you're drawing a blank on a piece of content that you want to put up there that you think is valuable i'm sure there was something of ours that you listened to watched or read that was very valuable to you fucking rip it mm -hmm. rip it and use it share it with your community and start to build a community of people that now come to you for the, all this great information and that doesn't mean you cannot use our content to do that so those are the two main things i would probably focus on if i'm you right now i totally agree i mean i honestly i think that because you're going through all the education right now it's really just about like to, to internalize it uh to be able to teach it now like as much as you can it's really gonna um you know solidify that information that you're receiving right now as you're, as you're getting i wish i would have done that more like i was just more kind of passive in receiving information and didn't really maximize my time uh, in my educational process. Um, but also too, that just doubles up as content for you down the road. So whether it's you teaching yourself via video uh, and then just cataloging that, or you have friends, family that you can kind of uh, apply these techniques or, or methods or you know teach them something very specific uh, that's gonna help them nutritionally, whatever it is. Um, just document it. And then, you know, and two, if you really want to do this and, and grow it something big, like you're going to need a lot of content these days to, to keep up. Yep. Are you working right now too? Are you working in a physical therapy office or in a gym? So I uh, had to get observation hours. I was working at a clinic for a while, um, but I'm just working at a gym right now as a trainer during the summer. Well, I, I have to study to get into the doctorate program and stuff. So it's, it's a lot. I'm not taking classes this summer, but I'm just working as a trainer right oh, now. Perfect. I was going to say, keep doing that as long as possible. And then if you could find, a, cause here's physical therapists are the best, uh, generally speaking, when it comes to correctional exercise, one thing they tend to lack is in training for hypertrophy, aesthetics, performance, um, unless that's their specialty. Um, so if you could find a physical therapist that you think does a damn good job, approach them and tell them what you want to do and, and literally say this, I will work for you for free. I just want to watch you and listen to you, uh, talk to your clients and your patients, and I want to watch you do things with them. And if you'll answer my questions, great. If not, no problem. I just want to follow you around. You'll learn more like that than you will in any textbook. So find somebody and see if you can follow them around. You know, I mean, 10 hours a week would be amazing and offer to do whatever they want for free. That'll be I, so much more valuable than, than what you're learning in class right now. The, the advice I gave about the, the posting too, uh, one of the beautiful side effects of that, I, kn I know how intense the DPT school is. I mean, that's you got, it's like heavy, heavy studying for you. So it's only going to make you a better student. So I would even like my mindset when I'm doing it is like, I'm not tripping out if I don't have 10,000 followers or the poster. Yeah. It's like, I'm actually part of me doing it is actually to help, like Justin said, solidify that information. So I become a better student. So, so like it's selfishly motivated. Like I'm going to put this content out in hopes that I can reach people, teach the information that I'm learning. So I'm only going to get better at my craft. I'm only going to be a better student. And then along the way, what you're going to find out is you're kind of playing this game of throwing spaghetti on the wall and the most random shit sticks. You're going to post mm -hmm. something one day. This is if, you, if you're if you consistent with the advice and you're going to be like, are you kidding me? This is what everybody wants yeah. to hear. Like that is the most basic. You're going to be like, oh Listen my God. Listen to them too. Listen to the feedback. Yeah. It's and then and, and then now you allow the feedback from the comments and the engagement and the sharing of, oh shit, maybe I'll go deeper on that subject. And now I'm going to make, instead of making just one post, I'm going to make 10, 15 different posts, teaching it in five, 10 different ways and showing the the uh, progression of it, the regression of it, like other examples of it, the pitfalls, like, and oh, what I would eat when I'm going through that, like all the things you could think of could based off of the way people are giving you feedback. So that's mainly what I would focus on right now. And then take advantage of the NCI stuff, right? The NCI uh, they, they have a lot of free courses on there. There, mm -hmm. I mean, there's a $99 a month thing where you have access to the four of us every single Wednesday where you get to do a call and we talk all, you have open platform yeah. on Zoom with us to talk all business questions. 
So that's not a major commitment, and it gives you an opportunity to to probe us every single week. So just some ideas for you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I was just like, when I worked at the clinic, I just saw so many people who came in for surgery, and it was like their third or fourth time there. And like a lot of the therapists, I'm not trying to cut anyone down. I hope no one I worked for is listening to me. But uh, they were like, the trainers themselves weren't the best in shape people either. And I was just like, I was just like, man, you're a physical therapist. You're not in the best physical shape. And I also don't want to just be a physical therapist and heal these people's injuries. I want to have like my own personal training studio to show people, hey, man, there's there's something more than just rehabilitating an injury. If it if it rehabilitates the injury, it probably prevents it too, and like try to introduce them into a life of fitness and activity. So that's just kind of the dream. Um, I really appreciate it. So you, you cool. got it, man. And yeah. if, you, if if do you have Prime and Prime Pro? If not, I'll send those to you because I think those will be valuable. I literally I literally bought uh, Prime Pro because Justin looks like he could just like destroy me. So yeah. um, I just figured <laughs> I buy that. I bought that like last week. So I've like not. sixteen of your programs. All right, um, good deal, man. Sweet. Well, all right then, brother. Um, I got one thing for Adam though. Um, I was house sitting last week and went into the bathroom. They had these little uh, motion sensor night lights, and I have a really small bladder. I actually got tested um, for diabetes because I pee so much. Um, so I think you should go on Amazon and get one of these little motion sensing night lights because it doesn't wake you up. But so if you continue to sit to pee, it's just a choice at this point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. Thank you, Nick. Thanks, man. So yeah, embarrassing. Yeah, no you problem. keep us manly. Uh, so yeah. embarrassing. <laughs> we need help. Right. Thanks. Thanks again, brother. <laughs> Take it easy, Nick. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate right. it, brother. Bye-bye. Thank you. You know, I, I, uh, I, I worked with a lot of physical therapists in my studio. So it sounds interesting that he wants to do that. And you, you see that like the physical therapists are really good at the correctional stuff, but a lot of them don't go beyond that. Yeah. So it's like, oh, movement's back, range of motion's back, but they don't know how to like really progressively overload, build strength, right. build muscle. There's no move in that solid direction. bridge there to kind of push them back into the gym to build muscle, to, to work on performance. End of the, I, the, the PT I worked with, she was so amazing at correctional exercise. And that's what I learned from her. And what she learned from me was the progressive overload stuff. And yeah. then we really, I mean, we just got really good uh, combining the two. So yeah, I was coaching uh, Melissa Wolf when she went through all this, her DPT school. And then she actually got hired onto a clinic. And I remember th- I was constantly probing and asking, I was just curious about the space currently at the time and everything like that. I had a buddy who was a physical therapist that we lived together, you know, a decade decade and a half ago and so want to know how it's evolved how it's changed and the thing that was the the common thing that kept hearing from her is just like it's amazing how little of these uh, dpts know about uh, like training yep. strength training yep. wow. they're so focused on rehab That's so it. much that they're and they know that inside and out mm-hmm. but as soon as you step out of the yeah, rehab, how to do a deadlift an overhead press yeah and, yep. just completely uh, oblivious to all that so that was like one of the things that she was most excited to try and evolve and mm-hmm. change so it's good to see more, good. more pts yeah. like this there's a need there 